The, you imagine there's an elephant in the room and there's four or five blind men and they're trying to describe the elephant to each other. And so one touches the trunk and describes the trunk. Another touches the tail, describes the tail. Another touches the leg, describes the leg. Another touches the side and describes the side. And they all give different descriptions. But the point is that it was all really the same thing. It was just a different perspective. And so pluralists love that story because they'll say that's what God is like. All the religions of the world are really describing the same God, the same life force, the same energy or super intelligence from different perspectives. They're just like blind men feeling the elephant. Pluralism is probably the most politically correct system. It doesn't surprise me that it's probably the most popular belief system in Vancouver because it allows you to affirm pretty much everybody's beliefs, even the atheist. Because to the atheist you can say, well, well, being a good person is what's most important. So if you want to avoid offending people, pluralism is a great way to go because you, you never have to offend anyone. You can affirm that what everyone believes is true, which is why this is so popular. It reduces religions to moral teachings. Things like it's just about being a good person, it's just about being kind to one another. And the pluralists will represent this argument that we're talking about right now to make the point, are you really so arrogant as to believe that your belief system is the only correct one? How can you be so arrogant? The accusation being that it is narrow-minded, it's, it's pretentious to believe that you know the truth, but billions of other people are wrong, even though they think they know the truth too. This argument runs into an immediate logical problem, and some of you might have figured this out, or, or you'll know this already, because again, it is self-refuting. Well, how? Because the pluralist believes that it is arrogant for the Christian to claim to have such knowledge about spiritual matters that they can say emphatically, this is the only truth. So they say, it's so arrogant for you to think that you have that level of insight, that you could know that. However, the pluralist, in making that accusation, is in fact demonstrating the exact same level of arrogance by claiming to know that Christianity is not the only truth. How could they know that? Well, they might say to the Christian, how do you know? The exact same question can be asked to them with equal validity. Are they so arrogant as to believe that they can say with certainty that Christianity is not the only way? Even the illustration of the blind man and the elephant backfires on the person who attempts to use it because the illustration is told from the perspective of who? A person who's not blind, right? That's how they know that there's four blind men and an elephant. How can you claim to know that each person only sees part of the elephant unless you're also claiming that you can see the whole elephant, that there is a whole elephant? How could you possibly know that no religion can see the whole truth unless you yourself have the superior, comprehensive knowledge of spiritual reality you just claimed none of the religions have? It doesn't work. So make a note of this. This is a self-refuting argument because it requires the questioner to possess the very knowledge he claims cannot be possessed. It requires the questioner to possess the very knowledge he claims cannot be possessed. The real question is, what reasons do you have for believing your view is correct? 